Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you would like a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box and I have also made a post about personal readings on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go over there and check it out. And if you're watching this before September 8th or September 13th, I am having two lives on the Bright platform. One is a spiritual hangout where we're going to be talking about current events and the energy behind it and the other one is about Archangel Metatron. So do not miss it. Queen of Ariel. All right. Mature, practical, generous, happy. I feel like this is already where some of us are trying to get to. <laughs> All right. Because we are in times that have stolen our peace, that has um, made a lot of us uneasy about our material stability. Like, will we be able to buy that house? Are we going to be okay? This says, nurture yourself and those you love. That is, that's interesting because that's supposed to be the priority. A lot of us think, oh, I'll get to that project that I really love once I get through all the survival stuff. And this is showing us to do it the opposite. Get up in the morning if you have to before work, do the passion project, and then move on with your survival job or whatever. Um, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So someone is coming in and giving you another perspective. Maybe it's me saying, hey, make your, make your family the priority. I just recently did that. I work around the clock and uh, I'm always telling other people to take a rest and I don't do it myself. I know, <laughs> I know, but you know, I wanted to spend some time with some family members over this weekend and I didn't have the weekly up and I'm like, you know what? The weekly can wait. I'm going to go off and spend time with my family. My family is my priority. So this is that sort of thing where you, uh, Start reevaluating what gives you a sense of safety. Now, this is also if you are, especially if you're a freelancer, I know I'm a freelancer, so it's been very hard financially and all of us are trying to stay afloat. But if you are a freelancer, let's say, and you're going, you know what? I'm tired of the excuses from companies, clients, whatever. We can't pay you yet or we can't do this. And you feel like, um, like you're getting taken advantage of. That's the energy for some people out there. Like, let's say you do digital art for a company and they refuse to pay you. You know, this is where you realize, okay, I don't, my sense of stability doesn't have to depend on this one client. If they're not paying, I can drop them as a client and go off and find a different kind of work. Maybe freelancing isn't what you want to do anymore. Or, you know, th that's that kind of feeling here. Like, how can I regain my sense of self and my power? and not be beholden to people and their excuses. We're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.